Researchers at UMDNJ have developed what's being billed as the first clinically effective high-speed diagnostic test for active tuberculosis. As NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler reports, the researchers believe the test will help save lives. Okay, go ahead and take some deep breaths. Tuberculosis is preventable and curable, yet each year TB, which tends to attack the lungs, kills more than two million people worldwide, more than any other infectious disease. Two billion people are infected. The bacteria hides in their bodies, and one out of 10 people will actually go on to develop disease, but the other nine out of 10 will not develop disease, or will not develop disease for many decades. It's important, however, to treat anyone who tests positive with antibiotics because TB is airborne and easily spread. <laughs> Even though TB cases in the U.S. dropped to an all-time low last year, just 4,500 in native Americans. The CDC says we can't be complacent because tuberculosis is just a plane ride away. There's a lot of tuberculosis in sub-Saharan Africa and in Asia, and with the way air travel is these days, it's very simple for someone to get on a plane with tuberculosis and bring it to this country. Dr. David Allen is a TB researcher and Chief of Infectious Diseases at UMDNJ New Jersey Medical School. He and his team have developed a new test for active disease that provides rapid results. Findings are published in a recent New England Journal of Medicine. It's critically important to identify people with tuberculosis as quickly as possible so we can start treating them right away. The current tests used to identify active TB involve looking for bacteria under a microscope and growing a sputum culture, which takes two to six weeks. Our test replaces culture and microscopy with a simple instrument that does everything uh, in under two hours. The sputum gets um, liquefied, the sputum gets added to a cartridge, the cartridge gets put into the instrument, the instrument is run, and the answer comes out in under two hours. The new test also detects resistance to rifampin, a first-line antibiotic used to treat TB, giving doctors valuable information. The test could be available in the U.S. in the next two years. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Newark.